Hey, Bomb and Bossy Gang and all of my boss friends. Um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my God. Instagram. Be... Uh, hey, Benda. Okay, let me send my broadcast out. Instagram be acting so funny, um, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Flavors by Dane. It's in the building. Y'all, I just want to make sure that I am pinning my comments. Welcome to part two of how to use Instagram hashtags to build your brand. You guys, if you tuned in yesterday with Melon and Cat, then you guys are going to be super excited um, to hear from Flavors by Day. Uh, we're going to get started at about 7.03. What they say... Um, YK, I'm tuned in from the marketing group class. Oh, yes. Awesome. Uh, while you guys are coming in, please make sure that you are hearting this video, that you're sharing this video with at least five of your friends. Let's get these viewers up. Um, Dame is in the room, but we want to make sure that we have a huge, huge audience. Yes, you're tuned in from Alaska. That's what's up. I'm in Chicago. While you're coming in, let us know where you're tuning in from, you guys. I am super excited to have Dame Dash in the room with us. He's going to be dropping some gems about how to use Instagram hashtags. As you guys know, Black Friday is coming up on Friday. So we want to give you guys some gems on how Dame has grown his Instagram following to almost 100,000. And his YouTube subscribers are almost to 200,000. So he's going to be sharing some of his gems for how he is like killing it right now on Instagram and how he was able able to use his hashtags but what i want you to do is make sure that you are continuing to share this video let's get the viewers up to about 20 to 30 people it is about to be uh lit i will be saving this um I will be saving this live. I'm very excited to um, get started. So make sure you guys are also commenting, comment where you're tuning in from and tell us about your business. What type of brand are you? So we can customize the conversation to you guys. This is the official part two from yesterday's live, um, how to use Instagram hashtags to grow your brand. So while you guys are sharing, I'm also about to send this video um, to some people. Um, so that they can also tune in. Yesterday was super, super fun. Today is going to be even better. So I'm just going to send this live so that we can get some of the Bomb and Bossy Boss friends to tune in as well. So Dame, go ahead and request um, to join and we're going to be getting started so we can jump right on in okay so dame i'm going to be bringing you on a request so go ahead and accept your request and we're going to get started hey, hey. i always How are you? smile you have a nice little glow i just love you <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> how are you doing I'm doing great. How about yourself? I am doing well. You know what? Today has been such a long day. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's seven o'clock already, but it's eight o'clock. Um, it's, you're... it's been real long. I just walked in the house. Really? How's your day been? Busy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, well, since it's been busy, uh, hey, we have some of your people in here saying, hey, make sure you guys, yes, drop them waves, drop them hearts, because yes. We have flavors by Dame Dash in the building, and y'all, I'm super excited. Um, as you guys may know, or may not know, my name is Kovana Washington. I am the founder of Bomb and Bossy Marketing, you guys, and this is the official Save by the Hashtag Instagram series featuring flavors by Dame Dash. We also have Melanin Kit Kat in the building, who was a part of our part one last night. So, Dame, just tell the people in the room about yourself and tell us about tell us more about your brand for those who do not know. 
Oh, just a second. I'm sending everybody my... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that's right. Send everybody. Let them know that you're on the live. And while Dame is inviting his people to the live, make sure that you guys are sharing this video with at least two to five of your friends. If you know a business owner who needs to know how to use Instagram to grow their brand, then definitely invite them to these lives. Don't be stingy with these gems. So, um, so Dame, Amen. go ahead and uh, take it away. Tell us about yourself and your brand. All right, so I do YouTube, you know, full time. Mm -hmm. um, the, the way I started, you said, tell them how I started or what about my brand? Yeah, tell, tell us um, about your brand and how you got started. Uh, okay, so I do YouTube full time now. Um, I got started because literally I used to watch it, right? Right. In secret. I used to be like, because I do mukbangs, right? And in the beginning, I, that was weird. I used to have to play the fool right here. Right. <laughs> You know, and nobody used to watch it. It was weird in the beginning. And I used to watch Be Love. And I just like, mm, I look good. Right? This is when right. she was back in the, in the red kitchen. And I was working at the post office and stuff like that. And I just always used to watch it. Plus, I love cooking, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, this is right up my alley. I should start doing it. Mm -hmm. And me and one of my coworkers like, come on, let's do it. We did a mukbang probably, what, two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it took forever to get 100 views. When I tell you, it took like two weeks maybe to get 100 views. Okay. But I, I like the fact that I did it and I wasn't, you know, that was the hardest part of doing it. And then once I did it, I was like, oh, snap. And it was kind of new then. So I um put it, I started a new Instagram on it. No followers, absolutely none. I started the Instagram, I started posting pictures. And then I was like, oh, ain't nobody paying attention to my pictures. Mm. Right, so I started trying to figure out why people had hashtags for one of their pictures. Oh, what's this one? Mm -hmm. So I started using hashtags, but then I noticed that people was doing videos. Mm. So I started doing videos, like the clip from my uh, YouTube video. I break it down to like a one minute clip and put it on Instagram, mm -hmm. and it started going crazy. Like I used to get like a hundred thousand type views mm. on this video. It wasn't flooded like it is now. So back then it was like what. What is it just started climbing. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and then I it just started climbing up. I was like, wow. One thing I like that you said was when you started YouTube, you said it okay. took forever. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you said it took forever. And that's the key word, right? A forever mm -hmm. thing. And then you talked about like you brought it to Instagram. You started um posting your pictures, but you also felt like, well, people wasn't really engaging with my right. with your pictures like that. So I think one of the things and we talked about this last night in part one, we were saying like, yes, you can have amazing hashtags, but the key is to have really, really great content and also mm -hmm being inspired to not want to give up because you talked about this long process and you talked about how through the process you have to figure out what works for you in terms of content so before yeah. we get to the hashtags just tell us about your content creation process and why it's important to really understand what works for people okay so it, everything for me was based off of instagram because my Instagram, my Instagram started taking off. My Instagram, I had way more followers on Instagram than I did on YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. my subscribers on YouTube was low. But Instagram, I was killing it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, what can I do to make my videos really, like, pop out? And mm -hmm. then I realized, for me, it's video. Mm -hmm. And then more chewing and smacking the food sounds mm -hmm. than it is talking. Okay. Right, so my mm -hmm. my audience basically want to hear the food. Like basically, I tell them what I'm eating, and then are you here smacking a pop? You know, something like that. <laughs> they don't too much want to hear me talking about what it is. So I put that in the back just to get them engaged, and then I uh, say what I got to say because then they're already watching. I know, like, okay, well now I know where to get it from, or now I know. You know, it's just you gotta you gotta really listen to your audience. Right in order to post certain things. Like, you'll know what to post or what not to post once you feel your audience. Yeah, I, I really like that you said that. And um, and for the people who are on here, if you are interested in building your brand, learning how to use hashtags to grow your brand, uh, mm -hmm. definitely make sure you are dropping your questions in the chat. We are reading them. Um, we see that we got the Dame Gang in the building. Yes. What's up? <laughs> you all in here? <laughs> yes. Um, so 
y'all her name like before you can use hashtags to grow your brand you have to listen to you have to number one have great content and you have to make sure that you are listening to your audience although dame is in um the industry of youtube and being a foodie and doing his mukbangs he still has to listen to his audience because like he said his people don't want to hear <laughs> his people don't want to hear him talk um his people want to hear him smacking and being engaged with the food etc so once you identified your content <laughs> dame, tell us when you really started to use hashtags <laughs> Um, so, okay, so what it is is Instagram. All we see is your lips. Huh? All we see is your lips, or is it just my camera? Oh. Well, I think it's the filter. Okay, that's a little better. I think it was the filter. Is it good? That's good, but every time you do that filter, you like zoom I don't in. know how to take it off. Okay, let me see. Try to take it off a little bit. Oh, there now you go. You, there you go. Bait. I'm bait. Yep, you back. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Touch stuff. Always touching shit. Okay. So, <laughs> um, somebody gonna say yes, lips. <laughs> Look, that's the, that's for only fans or something. <laughs> Listen, I okay. I gotta grow that. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so I started using hashtags um, to grow my Instagram. I wanted to grow my YouTube more. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, my Instagram started growing more and more and more, and I was trying to use hashtags to grow my YouTube. So I was trying to let people know that I was a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? So if you like this clip, this one-minute clip, I put hashtag YouTubers. I put hashtag Black YouTuber. I put hashtag Detroit YouTuber because I'm from Detroit. <laughs> I put uh, Mugbanger. I put Seafood, you know, stuff like that to let people know that I was from Detroit. Mm -hmm. I was a YouTuber. I will put Black because there's not a lot of Black. YouTubers, mm. less big, big like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I just put certain things because I wanted the audience on here to go follow me over there so I can get it as big. Okay. It didn't really work like that. Okay. It didn't work like that, but my videos did start taking off more. You know what I'm saying? It did start growing my YouTube more, I mean, my Instagram more, but it didn't work to take these people on this platform over to this platform. They do not like doing that. Okay. But it forced me to start doing different stuff to keep my videos like moving, right? Mm -hmm. So I would do clips intentionally before I like before I started my mukbang. I do a YouTube shout out, basically. Just in this one minute, I'm talking about nothing but Instagram stuff. Okay. So I clipped that out and put it on you know Instagram, so they felt special, like, you know. Right. And then and I talk to them about certain stuff that they left comments up under just to engage and interact with them. Mm -hmm. And it started working. So for me, it was easy for me to grow to where I am now. Okay. But it's harder to grow now. There's so many different rules and the algorithm changed so many times. Mm -hmm. It was different. How do you feel like you adapt to those changes? Because, again, I feel like, and it seems like you have that mindset where you have been adaptable since the beginning. Like you talked about how you started with these pictures, the pictures didn't mm -hmm. work, you adapted, you know what I mean? So how do you feel like right now with the algorithm, which is something that I feel like is important, how right. do you adapt your hashtag strategy to beat this algorithm? I think I kind of study. I study Instagram. Like I pay attention to my analytics on Instagram. Mm hmm uh, I know that around six to eight more people are on, so mm -hmm. I need to post during those times. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of cater to my audience. I got probably 88% female. Okay. Um, like certain things like that. Uh, what days to post on, don't post on a certain day at a certain time because there's not a lot of people on in there. Mm -hmm. um, I also, when YouTube, like Instagram roll out new stuff, like when they rolled it, they rolled out, uh, what's that, IGTV? Mm -hmm. When they rolled that out, your regular videos won't get no play. Okay. No play. But if you posted a longer video on IGTV, it took off. Okay. So just pay attention to how Instagram is changing and jump on board. Like um, right now, The Real. Mm -hmm. Killing it. We talked about that yesterday. Tell them all about The Real. Killing it, okay? You don't even, and it's, it's, 
okay, it's it's kind of complicated when you're doing stuff because you gotta literally like I was moving stuff from out of my garage here to my building, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to record it, stop, drive all the way to the building, let them take it out, pull it back up, record it a little more, right? Mm -hmm. We got like two phones or something like that, but the video got like twelve thousand views and with nothing, you know? Okay. Me eat my sauce because you know I do it. I have my own sea, my old seafood sauce right outside of YouTube and you know Instagram, but this helps sell it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, Amen. <laughs> um, so me dipping this the the king crab leg in the sauce got like hundred and thirty thousand views. Mm -hmm. Like the real, that's the newest thing on Instagram. So of course Instagram is going to push it. If you feed it, it's going to push your video and your content out. You got to feed Instagram. So if you're doing what they want you to do, basically, they're going to look out for you. It's like you got to pay it, and it, 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 it like rewards for a return. I really like that you said it, too, because when it comes to hashtags, like, yes, you can use these hashtags, but again, mm -hmm. your content, you have to make sure that your content is on point. And I feel like with, with the reels, with the IGTV, I feel like more people are doing reels now than they're doing IGTVs because yes. they're noticing that, first of all, people attention spans are really, really low. And second of all, yeah. <laughs> like, and second of all, if that's even a real word, secondly, the, <laughs> <laughs> the Instagram reels are more engaging. And let's talk about hashtags. Uh, with Somebody said, who is she? Um, let me tell you who I am. For those of you who just got in the building, I'm Kovana Washington. I'm the founder of Bob and Bossy Marketing, and Dame and I are collaborating on a live. So for those of you who are interested in either growing your brand, you are learning tonight how Dame has used Instagram, to, uh, Instagram hashtags to grow his brand. So Dame, let's talk about a little bit about for those of the people who are using Instagram Reels, there's a difference in hashtagging with Reels than it is in your posts. So can you kind of right. tell me a little bit about your strategy with that? Um, with my Reels, I don't put a lot of hashtags. I kind of make it simple because it's about the, um, I guess, the clip. And you don't need a lot of hashtags if you, like, with the music. There's mm -hmm. certain music alone would get the people in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you play a, a nice song, a catchy song, or just a vibe type song, mm -hmm. they pay more attention to it because they vibing out like, oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'll put like um, the name of the song probably as a hashtag. I'll put what I'm doing in the video as a hashtag. I always use myself as a hashtag. Okay. Like your own brand. My own name and my brands okay. and stuff like that. So I can grow my own hashtag. So when I do like a giveaway or something like that, or I want to do something back for my supporters who support me, I can search the hashtag and see who uses my sauce. So who, who, you know, tag me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I put it all on my reel, like a little area. Cause I don't like all of them, you know, in the reel sometimes it's too many. Yeah. And then and then when we think about the Instagram reels and how they say the reels are like a TikTok video, even yeah. with TikTok, TikTok, they don't even allow you to put too much content on there. And it's very, like, exclusive in terms of those yes. amount of hashtags. But I think mm -hmm. one of the things that we're identifying, whether if it's a real, a piece of content, or if you're on YouTube, you have to know what type of hashtags you're going to be using and how mm -hmm. you're finding these hashtags. Like you mentioned, you use, the, you know, you may use um, a Detroit-related hashtag. And even with me, being in Chicago, I use like a Chicago related hashtag. So location is something that's important. Or you even talk yeah. about like if you're doing crab legs or a mukbang, you may do hashtag crab leg or hashtag mukbang. So just tell us how do you actually go about finding those hashtags? Because some people just generally don't even know where to get started with it. Um, You can search a hashtag. Like it's a popular page. Like you can go on Instagram. Okay, for the second. Then... Huh? I said, okay for this second phone. Okay for this third phone. You know what? I need to start doing YouTube because clearly <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the wrong industry. No, this way. So look, <laughs> you can search. It's crazy because at the top, it says search, right? Oh, y'all mm -hmm. can't even see it. 
It's search. Look at you right there. That's us. That's us. <laughs> search and then it's accounts and then it's hashtags. Mm -hmm. It's tags. This is this is how you know that Instagram ain't playing about certain tags. Well, my phone oh. ain't working. Let me see. With the tags, and you can search what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It's like Google. Mm -hmm. This phone working better. Okay. You see you're in the search box, it say tags. Mm -hmm. You, you search what you're looking for. So I'll be on here like, what they talking about? I don't know why Miami. I think the last time I was on here was when I was in Miami. Mm -hmm. So you search certain things and the tags that should pop, the hashtags should pop up. But what I try to do is I try to get, what's up, Jada? I try to use hashtags that's not overly saturated. Mm -hmm. Sometimes because you'll, you'll be on there, but you'll be probably all the way at the bottom. It'll be up under some other stuff because people be using hashtags and they don't clean them out sometimes. Like It'll be mm -hmm. like a dog eating food. Dogs do look bangs. I, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> Because I've seen one. At this point in life. <laughs> I be trying be trying to stay in my own lane because when it's something new and something different, is 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 better. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to copy everybody's hashtag mm -hmm. or copy everything. You want to do something new so mm -hmm. you can create a, a, a new buzz or something like that. So I just try to do different ones sometimes. It's a hit mm -hmm. or a miss. It's a hit or a miss. Because at one point I was making so many views. And then I tried to push a video through YouTube, um, Instagram, like pay for ads. After that, all my views just started dropping. I'm like, well, what happened? They found me. They found me. They they had to tell. They was like, oh, he making too many views. We got to stop this. And that's and at that point, that's when they and it's crazy because, like you said, you got to see Instagram give Instagram what they want, but then it's, it's mm -hmm. kind of like this game where it's like once you get to that point, when you do start mastering the use of hashtags, they will call they will do this thing called shadow banning you where mm -hmm. they'll stop you and they will literally block you from taking over their platform. Mm -hmm. So you guys have to make sure that when you identify the, the best hashtags that's working for you, not to use that same hashtag consistently because right. Instagram will say, okay, hold on. Now you're doing too much. Now you're going viral a little bit too much. Yeah, like you found you found out you found out the algorithm, so we got to change it. Like you figured it out, so they change it. Like they never want you to outdo them. Basically, they want you to use them. They want you to need them. They want you to use the services as buying the ads. That's why they 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 offer ads because they want you to pay them to grow. And at one point, I didn't need my views was going crazy. You know what I'm saying on here, and then it just was like. Psh. Hit or miss. So mm -hmm. what I do for my hashtags is I, I copy and paste, but okay. I save them. I have like four different ones that oh. I use. I can switch it up. I don't want to use the same one each time because that's when I feel like they found out when I was using the same one. Mm -hmm. So I had to flip. I had to change it up a little bit and add different ones to it, and then it started working again. Okay. And we yeah. talked about this yesterday. So do you think it's helpful to... I personally think it's helpful to have different groups. So even like with that, with when you're searching, so do you just, when you're doing your hashtag search, do you do a whole group of hashtags that you like to use and then group them up? Uh, Certain ones. like, But I try to keep it to what's in my plate because I, okay. it's different for me because I do mukbangs. So sometimes I will put the things as if I was a chef. Okay. Or, you know, if... I was um, where popular places to eat at the Detroit type things, you know, because sometimes I am using Detroit based restaurants so I can get discovered that way or because they can look at the food that I'm eating and be like, oh, I need to go eat there. You know, mm -hmm. so when you tag the restaurants, it helps them find you and they search the restaurant hashtags and a lot of restaurants reshare my videos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we have a question from the AFAM35. She says, I have an all-natural body products business. I try to promote it on Instagram, but I put hashtags, and it hardly gets to anyone. Do you have anything you want to share on that, and then I can share something? <clears throat> uh, with that, it's like, what kind of hashtags did you use? Like, sometimes you got to find the popular hashtags that somebody already else flooded. Mm -hmm. um, and then you want to tag other businesses to do the same thing. Not, I mean, it's just because 
when I'm looking for a, a, a body butter, I'm going to look for the most searchable off rip, mm. right? And it, that's going to pop up first anyway. Right. The one that's oversaturated is going to pop up first. So you want to tag them so you can pop up behind it. That's just like on my other platform, if I tag other mukbangers who do the same thing, sometimes I look and I see my videos recommended after theirs. So I think it's like the same thing. They'll recommend your product too. Yeah. And I and I really think that's a great point because uh so with you, the A fam, I would definitely say to look at your hashtags and anybody else, if you feel like the hashtags that you're using, if they're not working, then again, like you should be constantly in the know of what hashtags are trending, but you should also be constantly in the know of going through your own hashtags, clean out your own hashtag, audit the hashtag that you're using because if you feel like that they're not getting a lot of engagement and they're not bringing you the traffic that you're looking for, just go ahead and find some other hashtags. One thing I personally like to do, and it's similar to what you were saying, Dame, like, okay, well, if you have natural body butter products then mm -hmm. uh let's think about okay what other what who are your competitors who is your competition some of these accounts are also using hashtags i personally like to look at my competition because it's exactly. like okay, is this some hashtags they using like sometimes that's I, really working for them that's really <laughs> like and then i go through and i'm like okay i see right. this post is at the top let me go mm -hmm. ahead and try to finesse the same hashtag so I can bump my content up too. Mm -hmm. So do you ever like go through some other of your competitors? To, okay, I'm thinking like you. <laughs> let's get them to see. I'll be like, what do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. What they got over there? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Yes, because you you have to stay on top of it, and that's why I said research. It may look easy. It look like, oh, you just got it because you got all these followers or whatever like that. I got 99.2, but all 99.2K are not invested in me or engaged in what I got going on. Mm -hmm. So to stay engaged with, you know, to stay engaged, you got to be in the comment section. You got to basically communicate in your DMs as much as possible. You got to, you know, talk about the product. You can't just post all the time. Like, you should at least devote an hour to respond in, in some type of way. You know, mm. it's a part of, it's a part of it. You can't just get the followers and think that's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep them. I probably average 150 something a day, but I'll also lose 68, you know, a day. So, and I know I'll be dropping the ball at uh, communicating like I should, but I got eight jobs. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do all eight jobs on top of staying consistent in the comment section in some type of way. I like some people say <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, <laughs> someone said so we do have a couple of YouTubers on here, um, which mm. is great. Um but of course for those of you who um yeah show us what you yes flavors. Oh yes. that's her new that's her new Black Friday uh drop, right? Tell us about that too. Definitely promote your sales, honey. <laughs> um, Don't make me go get the butter out the freezer now. Wait, we we gonna we gonna say that for the end. We gonna say that for the well, end. I, you said promote. <laughs> I'm about to show them out. We, show out. <laughs> we don't, but I definitely want you to know, promote your promote your sales. So look, someone says um they're a YouTuber. They do reviews for Love at the Lockup, and they was wondering if you can give any tips on hashtags. Love. Which oh, is a TV show. show. Yeah. Oh, TV show. Oh, okay. When you do your reviews, <laughs> when you do your reviews, you need to do your reviews. Like put them out right after the show go off. Okay, timing is everything. So you want to be the first person on it, and then <clears throat> make sure you tag the show, tag the network, tag uh, whatever episode it is. So if the person who scroll upon your uh, your post and they haven't seen that episode, you can then know which one it is. Like be informational. <laughs> Don't just post up the post up, but let them know because people really want to know. Like when I tag or post things, if I don't tell people, even when I do tell people exactly what I'm eating, I still get read. What you eat? What's that? You know, a lot of people don't read. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but a lot of people don't read. So you got to make it very, very simple in the beginning 
so they can know. But that really helps. Like if I'm looking at something, I'm like, oh, what's that? Because we nosy. Mm -hmm. People know you there. So they want to know. So you got to hashtag everything that can help me find out everything you talk about. That's important. And it's, and it's kind of like because you talked about earlier, like, the hashtags is a form of like the marketing term search engine optimization is how people search. So it's very important. Like, yes, you have your content, you have your hashtags, but you need to know who your audience is and mm -hmm. who you're trying to reach and the type of things that they're literally going to be searching for. So if they're searching, like you may try not to be too general. So like I'm looking at a plant. If I wanted to purchase a plant, I may not type in hashtag plant. There may be a specific plant that I'm looking for, like hashtag artificial plant, hashtag Ikea plant. Like I right. know where I'm trying to go to like purchase something or engage with something. And engagement is something that's also important. Like Dame, you talked about, you also got to make sure you're commenting and like being a part of these conversations because I've literally had conversations with some of my marketing clients and I'm like, okay, I see you got these hashtags. Have you engaged mm -hmm. with them? And they like, mm -mm. and I'm like, okay, <laughs> but you want them to give you that energy that you're not even going to give them. So tell right. us about um, a specific engagement strategy when it comes to hashtagging to get people to actually come into to your profiles. Um, what, I, what I like to do, honestly, sometimes when I go into a profile that got hashtags, I'll search the profile, and then I'll look on people's um, feed, and I'll comment. So I can be attached to the post. Mm. I feel like that's good. Like, commenting on other people, like, people who follow you, or just being engaged in every sense. It's different ways to engage. So engage with other people. Engage with the hashtags. Search them. Um, comment up under them. And then use them. It, it's like tying you in, in a sense. Does that make sense? Um, I do that sometimes. And then sometimes I just, I use a hashtag, right? Mm -hmm. And then I wouldn't use it again. And then I would post. And then I'll go back and comment something totally different. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with the post or anything. Just to see if I get like likes up under it. Because mm -hmm. other people didn't recognize me from another post. Oh, so people see me before. So because eight people like this, you know, stuff like that. I feel mm -hmm. like I just be in the system that just trying to figure out. Like if you ever just comment, just just randomly comment on the shade room. Try to be like right, like try to be first, like real, like up there. As soon as they post the comment, and then just see. People but then. When they comment in, y'all have to be careful because one thing I just kind of like found out in my studies of like the the algorithm, you have to mm -hmm. be not just to put an emoji. So if you right. want to comment and when you're engaging with these hashtags or and then you're under these posts or even if it's like that shade room example, don't just put a heart or don't just put emoji eyes because that's not a real interaction. That's not a real conversation. Once you go onto these hashtags and you're engaging with these people, and like you say, you have to make sure that you are actually being genuine about the comment that you're actually leaving right. because that's what's going to attract people to your page, which in mm -hmm. turn, if you're selling the products, is going to get people to purchase Pretty from you. So exactly. be mindful about how you are actually engaging. Mm -hmm. You have to. I feel like you can't just expect it to come to you. Like, you got to go work for it. Like, in the beginning when I was on YouTube, I used to watch other people's videos, genuinely watch, mm -hmm. leave comments. My name got in people, you know, it was in people's faces. Like, some people would probably see my comment on uh, somebody else's channel and made them click on my name to go look at my channel. Mm -hmm. Same thing. If you ever pay attention to... A, like a, a shade room, I can use the shade room because every celebrity, special some, like some of them, I see every post, no matter what, it can be a diaper, they're going to post. They're going to be at the top because they want to be relevant. They want people to see them. They want to see their name. Like all that stuff plays a part in growing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I don't like when people spam though. Do not spam 
oh, I, 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 I sell this, sell this, sell that. Anybody can pay attention to that. Right, but right. That's, that's something relatable, you know. Oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. So, hey, so I think we should do, I think we should do a challenge uh, for those of you, like, just so far with these tips. And I think now, since we did our part, our part one yesterday, we're doing our part two today with Flavors by Day. Just based on the strategies and the tips that you guys have been hearing so far, I want to challenge you guys to identify top a top 10 hashtags that you can use. Dame already showed you how you can go through the search bar to see all of the different hashtags that's popular in your industry. Now, go take a pen, write down 10 hashtags that you want to use, and go ahead and comment on at least 10 to 20 of those pages because we already talked about the content is important. Think about what content is going to work. Identify your hashtags, but also make sure you are engaging. And so, Dane, when they're using the hashtags, is there a maximum hashtags that you use under your posts? I know the maximum is 30. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it depends on what it is. If it's a lot of stuff, I try to, I, I don't, I don't want to do all 30 of them because I feel like sometimes, I don't know, it's just heavy. Sometimes I post something with no hashtags. Yeah. It just depends on the time of the day. Look at your algorithm. Um, and depending on how heavy the hashtag is, sometimes I feel like when you use the ones that's really, really, really big, it don't do much. If you use some fresh ones sometimes, like you got to switch it up. Don't always use the ones that's oversaturated. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes you got to use ones that ain't nobody ever been in. Because then those are going to grow. And then once they grow, then you'll be at the top of that one. And views mm -hmm. sometimes don't be instant. You can post something and it don't get no love. Two mm -hmm. weeks, three months, a year, it didn't took off. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. It just, you know, you can, it depends. It looks like we definitely. do. Go ahead. Oh, what you about to say? I said, but definitely research the hashtag. And and I feel like one of the, um, and so this is going to help me answer this question. Someone designs by Shakia said, what's the best hashtag for handmade jewelry i personally think it's that research pro it's that research process like and it depends mm -hmm. on what the industry is uh so dang just reiterate for some of those who may have just came in like what that research process can look like because it's, it's mm -hmm. pretty much customizable to any industry that you're in well okay so researching is basically okay so you do custom jewelry right you want to go find other people who do the same thing, other people who do custom jury and look at their tags and look at how they're strategizing. Don't copy exactly what they're doing, but use use them as like a, a blueprint. So they did this. How can I make it 10 times better? You always want to be better than the next person because you want to stand out. You don't want to sit on the side. You want to be up here and they down. You know, you want to be a little better than what they did, what they did. So you can use theirs and add something to it. You know what I'm saying? But you got to research the hashtags you're looking for. So, handmade jewelry. That's a good one. That's, that's a starting <laughs> point. At that point, I want to, I literally want to go into, and it's so easy to, to think about those keywords as well. So, I'm pulling up my Instagram right now, and I'm mm -hmm. typing in handmade jewelry. I'm, the first thing I literally, as soon as I typed in handmade. Jewelry popped up? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's similar to like when you go to YouTube. If you type in the word M U K, the rest mm -hmm. is gonna say mukbang. Or if exactly. you go on Google and if you type in how to, mm -hmm. just type in a couple words, and Instagram will automatically let you know what people are uh, searching for. So I'm typing in handmade jewelry. Well, handmade jewelry has twenty point eight million. So you might not want to use that one because <laughs> <laughs> it got a lot, but it also has some potential uh, competitors who at the who are at the top. And I'm looking Thanks, at. Goody. Go ahead, Dane. What you say? No, I was just saying thank you to Goody. Oh yeah, so that can be your first step for me personally. Go onto Instagram, type in your keyword, and see what other words are kind of going underneath that. And honestly, that that should be um, a really great start. 
But look at this. Handmade jewelry. She made a, a, a reel. Oh, yeah. For her stuff. Handmade jewelry. She don't really have no tags. She got 27.8K hearts <laughs> and 76 comments on the and reel. have a lot of tags. No, I don't see no tags. But you want to know something, too? Oh, no, she do. But very she... little. But it's not a lot. And you talked nope. about that when you're doing your reel. But you mm -hmm. also talked about how, and that's something, too. If you have the handmade jewelry, maybe you should, since most of these people have photos, now when it comes to jewelry, they want to see videos. So that can be right. a, a factor into why she got so many views because it's not a lot of people that's doing videos. And you mm -hmm. talked about, Dame, it's important to catch that first wave. And visual. Visual. Send a picture of it is fine, but a video of it moving. A video of, like me, like <laughs> if I seen a shirt, a picture is great. But if I seen the video of the shirt, front, back, side view, it's like, oh, okay. You know? It's kind of like this feel now. Is it my connection? Handmade jewelry. That's it. That's it. Because you don't want to confuse it either. You don't want to put so many different hashtags that they don't know where to put you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to use keywords. Yep. That's important. Keywords is important. So identify your keywords that are um, in your industry. And it kind of leads us to this final question, Dame. Um, and before I ask Dame his final question, for those of you who are still sticking around, uh, drop your question in the comments so that um, Dame can answer them. But my last question for you, Dame, is what would you say is your ultimate do's and don'ts of hashtagging? Um, okay, my don'ts? Mm -hmm. I have to find this out the hard way. Like, I was tagging stuff that they had nothing to do with my, um, my posts. Like, I remember I was posted, and I don't judge me. This is in the beginning, okay? I ain't know no better. This time, one of the big celebrities died. His name was Estes Tistiana, something like that. Oh, uh, X, 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 the, I, I know who you're talking about. But yeah, the one, yeah, him. And everybody was talking about him. So I just posted a food video eating, and I tagged him. I put a whole lot of tags like that. Mm -hmm. He ain't do good at all. So I was like, damn. <laughs> I was it trying to figure it out. It, like his fans? Yeah. It, it just didn't do nothing. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So it was just like, well, that's a don't. Like, don't do, just make your stuff relatable to what you're putting out. You know what I'm saying? So that's a big no. Like, just don't post, post, because it makes sense. Like, if you're not doing a makeup look or you don't have makeup on mm -hmm. and you post makeup, they don't, you ain't gonna get no looks. Cause people can see that in the in the feed. They can just roll right past it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they're looking for um food and you stand in there with nothing, no type of food around, they're not gonna click on it. Especially if it's on the explore page or something like that. What are what's gonna make them click it? To get them to actually stop. Yeah, that's what you need. They gotta stop a little bit to get the view. Now, Dame, if you would have used at that time, if that was a video and you would have had his song in the background, then it would There we go. Because I just yeah. talked about this um, yesterday in part one. When I posted a reel this weekend, I posted a reel the same day that Megan Thee Stallion dropped her new album. And I'm like, I'm going to use her song and her hashtag. <laughs> what? You, that's smart. <laughs> See, that's smart. I'm about to get all this energy because everybody that's, talking. That's good. <laughs> like when I did a real, I did a real of this shirt. Jasmine Sullivan just released a new song. Uh -huh. I post that as my real. What's what's what song's popping right now? You post that, like you know, what I'm saying you put it on a, as a real. You you huh? Someone said it's paying for promotions, good for business. I feel like it is if you pay somebody who's doing something that you do. Like mm -hmm. me, I'm good at food. Now, I'm good at food. I'm, I'm good at clothing and stuff like that. But I can't do nothing but no makeup. Mm. But at the same time, I have 88% females following me. 
So maybe my sales and makeup will be good. Mm-hmm. You know, because women are following me. So you just want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? You got to do your research before you just pay somebody, give somebody your money. You got to make sure it's making sense. Like, if you look at my comment section, you see a lot of women. So if I sell something to women, it might sell. Mm -hmm. Now, if you follow somebody who majority of their followers are, are men, and you're trying to sell jewelry and, 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 and makeup, I probably wouldn't do that. But and Karen, if I some makeup, you see Karen? Yes, Karen, my body makeup. Right, she's talking about, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, just gotta, it just gotta make sense. You get a sauce right. with a makeup bundle. Look. <laughs> that's that. you know? But look, y'all, with promos, we that's gonna be something that we could talk about in another live. Uh, but we definitely want to make sure that you have your questions. So, Dave, if you want to go ahead and um get your sauce. And you guys can drop your questions in the comments. And then, Dame, you can just uh, let us know what your Black Friday promos is. I know you got your hoodies oh. and your So go ahead and get your products. So that you be back. <laughs> so I hope you guys, while we wait for Dame, this has just been a super exciting live. I hope you guys have gotten some gems to learn how to use hashtags to take your brand to the next level. Flavors by Dame. He literally has gave us his keys for how he has grown um his brand so someone's um hey i'm claw claw i'm sorry calandra is 30 hashtags too many no 30 hashtags is not too many it's actually the maximum that you can use but as me and dane has talked about um it's really all about what you want to do in terms of that number okay i see dane has came back yes doing my research as we speak i needed this friend i'm so glad First of all, thank y'all for joining and sticking around. Like, y'all, if you have not gotten my hashtag checklist, my freebie, text the word BOMB to 21,000. Like, definitely get more information about how to use hashtags to grow your brand. I'm also dropping a new online course, Saved by the Hashtags, on Friday. If you are enjoying this live, stick around. Dame is coming through. Yes, I will be saving this live, uh, Calandra. I will be saving this live, posting it to the IGTV. Um, so Dame is about to show us what he got. So get those credit cards ready and get ready to go to his website because, y'all, if you got a, a mukbang of your own that you want to do, seafood boil, flavors by Dame got it all. So what we got? What's the Amen. Y'all heard that sale now. Okay. We're going <laughs> to about the model for y'all. Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> we have. Let me do the butter first. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, on Black Friday, I'm going to have a good sale for you guys. You know, I love you so much. So, if you are here, you'll be the first to hear it, okay? <laughs> We're going to talk about how we got new packaging. This is our old butter sauce. You know, it used to come like this, okay? This is this regular. It's on sale on Friday. This is the new packaging. This spikes. We upgraded. Y'all see that? <laughs> we upgraded. We got the new it's giving us model. I'm giving you model. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Y'all, they're gonna be on sale right now. They twenty four ninety nine. Okay. On Friday, they're gonna be like eighteen dollars. There we go. We got this hoodie in um, different sizes. I don't know if I could show you, but they light up. But they not. They don't light up. They reflect different colors so let me try to prison do a presentation hold on okay yeah yes for the presentation now y'all this is marketing honey somebody say promote your brand you promote your brand that's what you, you look you see, you see the light mm -hmm. oh, you can't on it. It, it be like oh okay. you see it i see it reflect in a sense oh wait it's like iridescent glow there you go <gasps> I love there it. There go. That is nice, Dane. With the light? I love that. Ooh. Okay. Yes. You got you got people already ready to just buy everything up right now. Y'all <laughs> So we got all of the shirts do that. I got the red. With the you know the little logo right here. Yay! You know. We got it in pink. I love the pink. That logo. 
And you got to think of it with the reflect. That's the, the what? Then with the blue, that's why I picked the colors. You can kind of see this. Oh, yeah, you could definitely see the reflective with the blue. You see? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you got people ready to buy. On Black Friday. Now, look, let me tell y'all this. It's a limited edition. So it's not going to be bought back that many times. These are very expensive. <laughs> so, you know. Get it while you can. Get it while you can. It might be a collector's item. You see? Oh, you can see it on the right. Look. I love it with the white. <laughs> you see the red flag? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you market your brand, okay? You get the merch from my website, flavorsbydamedash.com. The link is in my bio. There's nothing on there yet. They're going to be on there on Friday. Look at the black. Hey. Oh, you see it? You can oh, really right. see it with the black. You see? Oh, wait. Where's my face? There we go. Oh, that's me. Hello? New drip. Who this? <laughs> New drip. Oh. Uh, I love it. You see me? Oh. I might throw some joggers in that bad boy. Somebody said, what size does it go up to, Dame? Yeah, let me tell you something. <clears throat> <laughs> I got your size. Whatever size you want, custom order. Now, it, now listen. The way I'm doing this is you're going to pre-order your thing so I can have it your size, your color. You pick, I buy Okay, I'm probably only going to do 100, 150 of them. Everybody who order is going to get your color you want, your size you want. It won't be sold out, but you got to order it. I'm only going to do probably 100. New drip, who this? <laughs> now listen, it's custom. Nobody got this. Not flavors. Buy your hoodie. Trying, but oh. I'll be telling you this. Don't try to, ain't no DM that sold out. Can you give me? No. Nope. Well, y'all heard it here first from Flavors by Dang. Y'all done got your hoodies, the sneak peek, Black Friday sneak peek on the hoodies, Black Friday <laughs> sneak peek on the sauces. Y'all, if you enjoyed this video, please heart this video. Continue to share. I will be posting the replay. Um, y'all, this has been super, super exciting. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have an Instagram, a, a brand, a business, just motivation as a whole. Dang, thank you so much. If you You're enjoyed welcome. it, Comment the word, thank you. Comment some hearts. Continue to hold down the hearts and show me <laughs> name, some love. Somebody said, I see your phone. He almost has the Somebody list. need the pink one. <laughs> I got you, Goldie. We got the 2X. We got, I got a 2X on right now. Look, this is the 2X on right here with me. Um, Another thing, y'all, we have seasonings that's going to be on sale on Friday. I have a seafood seasoning, and then I got an every flavor seasoning. And I have seasoned flour. Oh, and we have candles. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. And we got candles. Now, these things are not cheap of quality, so we're going to do limited edition thing, okay. right? So it's going to be a limited quantity. All right? I know it's going to sell. So you got to be in there. I might even do it Thursday. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I do the cooking starting tomorrow at uh what what time? I don't know. I might go at 10 p.m. Wednesday and until the morning cooking my Thanksgiving dinner. That's when the sale gonna start on my YouTube live. So be there tomorrow, okay? All the details is in the link for all of the uh all of my bomb and bossy boss friends. If you guys are in the live, all you gotta do is go to Flavors uh by Dame Instagram. It's also on my page. Just go straight there. Link is in his bio. You got all his Black Friday details. You got one more thing to say. Go ahead. You Let's post. Everybody screenshot this and tag us so we can share it. Let's post. Let's post. Screenshot. Wait, wait, not yet. Uh, my lighting off. Okay, not do it. <laughs> Screenshot and send it to us. You might get a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody send that to me. Send it to both of us. Both Tag of us. And, uh, well, thank you so much, Dame. This has been so much fun. I literally cannot do. I appreciate you so much, so no much. Black Friday is about to be a hit for you, for me, for all of the entrepreneurs in the room That's who just right. learn how to use hashtags to grow their brand. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Peace out. Thank y'all.